This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, all day yesterday, I've been getting uh, messages on social media and, of course, here on Twitter asking me, do I know anything about whether or not it's true that Conor Ben and Chris Eubank Jr. have agreed to fight each other at a catch weight. Now, ultimately, I wouldn't know because obviously I'm not part of the negotiations. But Gareth A. Davis, of course, he works for TalkSport and um, other platforms and that as well. Listen, he will put out a lot of stuff, and I quite like Gareth, by the way. He does put out a lot of misinformation. He does. Now, I think that he's easily manipulated in the sense of his sources will tell him something even though they don't know it to be true and they'll convince Gareth A. Davis that it's true then he will then put himself on the block and say I've heard this my sources have told me this blah blah blah, blah. now on this particular situation again I can only go, go by what Conor Ben has responded with by saying that isn't the truth though is it so in other words Conor Ben is saying that him and Chris Eubank Jr. have not signed to fight. Now, that's not to say they're not going to sign to fight. That's not going to say that they're not going to fight. Ultimately, we don't know. But, I mean, I remember, what, four or five days ago, Eddie Hearn was asked that question. He says that, we, well, I haven't even had a conversation with Callis Howland about the Chris Eubank Jr. fight yet. And it's very, very unlikely that Chris Eubank Jr. will be the next opponent for Conor Ben. So what are we to believe? It's very difficult to say. Now, a fight between Chris Eubank Jr. and Conor Ben, is it interesting? Well, historically, of course. Obviously, the uh, Ben Eubank name is obviously synonymous. It's legendary, okay, here in the UK. So, of course. But, listen, I, I like Conor Ben. I really, really like Conor Ben. And I, and I really, really like Chris Eubank Jr. as well. But that is a mismatch. I see it as a mismatch right now. I'd like to see Conor Ben keep progressing. Okay, go fight, say, Michael McKinson. Go fight for the British title. Um, go fight a Keith Thurman and that, for example. But I think a Chris Eubank Jr. will be too much. He will be. And I don't ever actually recall Chris Eubank Jr. ever getting hurt. So if Conor Ben can't hurt Chris Eubank Jr., how is he going to beat him? Because defensively, Chris Eubank Jr., is phenomenal. His hand speed is phenomenal. His foot speed is phenomenal. Conor Ben is getting there. He is getting there. And I, and I think in about a year or two's time, that could be a very interesting fight. When Conor Ben fills out a little bit, him moving up in weight and Chris Eubank Jr. moving down. Uh, listen, okay, you could argue a little bit, I suppose, that maybe that would drain Chris Eubank Jr. If they went down to, I don't know, 154 or whatever it may be. But even then, you see, that's Chris Eubank Jr. going down to 150-something, okay? So, okay, so he's losing six or seven pounds. Conor Ben is going to go up, what, another six or seven pounds himself. So who would be the strongest one at that weight? It's a six and two dozen. I mean, that's exactly what it is. It, I don't think it really matters. Currently, I think Chris Eubank Jr. needs to stop targeting welterweights. That's what he needs to do. Stop targeting welterweights. You know, he's calling out potential fight with like Conor Ben. He said, he's mentioned about um, uh, Kel Brook. He's mentioned about Terence Buck. How about fighting a middleweight? How about that? How about go fight Charlo? How about that? Why not? Want to go fight Dimitris Andrade? I mean, I mean, isn't he mandatory for, for, for somebody as well? Yeah, Triple G. Obviously, Triple G is tied up. Go fight for the regular belt against, um, is it still Lara? Is he still the regular champion? Do something like that. Leave the welterweights alone, man. Leave the welterweights alone. Now, is this just about money or does Chris Eubank Jr. want to become world champion? Fighting and defeating a Conor Ben is not going to get you a world title shot. Likewise, for Conor Ben, fighting and defeating a Chris Eubank Jr. is not going to get you closer to a world title shot. But ultimately, his prize fighting is about money. But regardless, is this fight going to happen? Well, according to Conor Ben, the information that Gareth A. Davis has put out is not true. Not for the first time, Gareth. You need to stop putting your head on the block, mate, because it's, it's going to get to a point where people are just going to go, oh, God, Gareth Ray Davis has spoke about it. That means it ain't true. And before you know it, certain people ain't going to want to work with you anymore as any kind of reliable source. So anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you next video.